Hi there, we're going to factor by grouping again. This time we're going to factor 15x squared minus 34x plus 15. There's a first step you always need to carry out, and that's make sure there's not a GCF in all three of those terms. For instance, here you have 15 and here you have 15. 5 and 3 and 15 will go into 15, but alas, none of those numbers will go into 34. So you do not have a GCF here. So we're going to revert to our previous policy of <clears throat> going to the y equals screen and uh, typing AC divided by X. So our A number is 15. I'm going to multiply that by the C number, which is 15, and divide by X. And then I'm going to go down to Y2 and say X <clears throat> plus 15 times 15 divided by X. And then I'm going to go second graph. All right, what I want to look for is negative 34. So let us, aha, there's negative 34 right there. Negative 34, our B number, and we find negative 25 and negative 9. All right, I'm going to rewrite this as 15x squared minus 25x minus 9x plus 15. Now, this is going to be difficult to do, so watch me carefully. I put parentheses around the first two terms, and I put parentheses around the second two terms, including the minus sign, and I write a plus in between. You must always keep a plus in between the two uh, parentheses, the two sets of parentheses. All right, I'm going to factor the first set of parentheses by a GCF. I know that 5 will go into 15 and 5 will go into 25, and we have x's in both terms. So 5x is going to be my GCF, and that will leave me 3x minus 5. Now double check that. 5x times 3x is 15x squared and 5x times negative 5 is negative 25x. Perfect. Now, this is a little more difficult, but I'm going to rewrite this as negative 1 times 9x, all right, plus, now this is the tricky part, but stay with me here negative 1 times negative 1 times 15. Why did I do that? Well, negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. So um, I really haven't changed anything. But now notice I have a negative 1 and a negative 1 as a common factor. I also have 3 because 9 is 3 times 3, 3 times 3, and 15 is 3 times 5. I'll have a 3 from each term as well that I'm going to bring out as a common factor. So I have 5x <clears throat> times 3x minus 5 plus negative 3, that is negative 1 times 3, and what I'll have left is 3x plus negative 1 times
times 5, which will be negative 5. Now, when I add a negative 5, that's the same thing as minus 5. So I'll have 5x times 3x minus 5 plus negative 3 times 3x minus 5. Notice that the 3x minus 5 and the 3x minus 5 match. So I pull that out as a GCF, 3x minus 5, and then I write the remainder, which is 5x minus 3. You can call them the leftovers. Now, I have just factored 15x squared minus 34x plus 15 into 3x minus 5 times 5x minus 3. Let's see, see if that's true. I'm going to FOIL these. Never trust myself. I never trust myself. I always double check my work. 3x times 5x is 15x squared. 3x times negative 3 is negative 9x. Negative 5 times 5x is negative 25x. And negative 5 times negative 3 is plus 15. So now, I'll have 15x squared minus 34x plus 15. Yes, that's just what I started with. And that means that this factorization, 3x minus 5 times 5x minus 3 is correct. Bravo for me. OK, let's try one more problem, one more factoring by grouping problem. I have a quadratic trinomial here. And notice that I have um, a GCF. This is 2 times 3, and this is 2 times 10, and this is 2 times 8. So 2 is a common factor in all these terms. So I'm going to pull that out and then write what's left, which is 3m squared plus 10m minus 8. Now, I'm not going to for forget my 2 out here, but I am going to factor by grouping this quadratic trinomial inside the parentheses. I'm going to go to my calculator. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to go to y equals. I'm going to clear what I have there and clear and start over again. Now, inside the parentheses, my a number will be 3 and my c number will be negative 8. So, 3 times negative 8 divided by x. And I'll come down here and I'll say x plus 3 times negative 8 divided by x. And then I'll say second graph. I'll look for my b number, which now is 10, inside the parentheses. I'll look for positive 10 in the y2 column. So keep your eyes peeled for positive 10. Ah, there it is. Notice that positive 10 is accompanied by the numbers 12 and negative 2. So here I go. Without forgetting my 2, 
going to make brackets. I'm going to say 3m square minus 2m plus 12m minus 8. Now I'll put parentheses around the first two terms, parentheses around the second two terms, but remember to leave your plus in the middle. What this is going to give me is, let's see, only m is my common factor in the first set of parentheses, m times 3m minus 2 plus, over here, 12 is 4 times 3, and 8 is 4 times 2, so 4 is going to be my common factor, 4 times 3m minus 2, parentheses closed and brackets closed. Now, 3m minus 2 is my GCF. So I now can get rid of my brackets, don't forget the 2 on the outside, times 3m minus 2 times the leftovers m plus 4. And that's my factorization. Now I'm going to double check and make sure I'm right. I'm going to foil what's in the parentheses, the two binomials, then, when I have that, I'll multiply by 2. So this will be 3m square plus 12m minus 2m minus 8 times 2. 2 times, or 2 parentheses because I'm grouping, 3m square plus 10m minus 8. Now, I'm going to distribute my 2. I'll have 6m squared plus 20m minus 16. Is this what I started with? Yes, it is. So that means the factorization 2 times 3m minus 2 times m plus 4 is the correct factorization of 6m squared plus 20m minus 16. So we have solved these problems. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.